Gosa National Park is located in the Great Rift Valley of central Mozambique. Within its forests and savannas, there is a home to many hippos, lions, and elephants. Besides the wildlife, the scenery is breathtaking. The multi-tiered Muromembedzi Falls spills over the jagged rocks of Mount Gorongosa. Its beauty is captivating, but it wasn't always that way. In fact, it was so bad that in 2004, a restoration project was put in place by the government of Mozambique and the U.S.-based Car Foundation. The hope was to rebuild the park's once beautiful infrastructure, restore the vast majority of the wildlife population, and spur the local economic developments. Nearly $10 million was invested into this project by the Car Foundation between 2004 and 2007. In 2008, with the success they've achieved, the foundation decided to sign a 20-year restoration plan. Poaching is a worldwide issue, and Gorongosa is one of the many places that fall victim to it. Initially, in 1920, Gorongosa was set aside as a hunting reserve by the Mozambique Company. Legal hunting of big-game species persisted until 1959, when poaching was officially outlawed. Despite being illegal, hunting and poaching within the park borders still have devastating effects. Consequently, Gorongosa has, has seen a huge decline in one of the most abundant wildlife populations in the world. The first wildlife survey occurred in 1984 and the results concluded that only 100 elephants, 300 reed buck, 100 water buck, and even less zebras were within the park boundaries. While all of these populations have seen some sort of comeback, their existence still sits on a fragile line. Throughout the history of the park, it has been noticed that poor communities have been poaching the wildlife in order to provide for their families. This is an issue for the wildlife because many exotic animals have international demand, such as elephant tusks, and because the people of Gorongosa live in poverty. This is a common occurrence. However, thanks to the steadfast work of park rangers and the Mozambique government, these rare and iconic species are starting to see a better chance of recovery. Since early 2017, Gorongosa has seen a 72% decrease in poaching. In 2017 alone, over 240 traps used to illegally catch animals have been destroyed, and over 35 guns to poach big game animals have been seized. Park rangers are risking their lives every day to disarm traps, protect animals, and deter poachers from killing animals. Thankfully, the government of Mozambique have started to take matters into their own hands, as evident through their involvement in multiple conferences. Mozambique attended the 2014 London Conference of Illegal Wildlife Trade and committed actions at stopping illegal product parking and promoting sustainable development. In addition, the Mozambique government was present at the 2013 African Elephant Summit and agreed to 14 urgent anti-poaching measures. Although tourism is generally a good thing, it also has many negligent aspects. Tourism started in Gorongosa in the 1920s. Since the laws have not always been so strict, tourism provided an initial issue towards the restoration of the park. It is obvious that tourism slows the efforts of restoration down. With tourism comes the potential for interruption in, and interference of the park's ecosystem. This has the potential to harm the animals and the environment. On the other hand, all of the revenue created due to the popular tourism attraction is put back into the restoration of Gorongosa. Not only does this fund the conservation efforts, but it also provides hundreds of jobs for local Mozambicans. A source of jobs is also important for the community and animals because it relieves people from having to pitch for international demands and communal poverty demands. This also provides funds to help relocate wildlife into Gorongosa with the attempt to repopulate certain species. The overall suitable result would be to create a self-sustaining park.